I'm late no. May ano lang kasi may busy. Uh, ano no. So can uh, ano uh, can we start the ano? Yes sir. We already have a quorum. The meeting sir. yeah, the meeting will please come to order. Uh, Secretariat, do we have a quorum? Yes sir. We have a quorum sir. Okay, we have a quorum. Uh, what uh, do we have for this afternoon? Yes, sir, uh, I will just uh, call the roll for the members, sir, for the record. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, members, kindly acknowledge your name. Uh, kindly acknowledge your presence when you, once your name is called. Uh, General John L. Stabilio, chairperson. Yes, sir. Attorney Roberto Martin S. Benaventura. Uh, Vijan Ernesto Milo. Present, sir. Good afternoon, Chair John and everybody. Engineer Arnel Borla Borlado. Engineer Gary Hadi. Uh, good Wala afternoon, si... sir. Wala si... Naka-travel po, sir. Travel. And Engineer yeah. Josue Sugi, sir. Present po. Thank you, sir. Uh, with four members present, we have a quorum to uh, transact business this afternoon, sir. Uh, Attorney Dane Espiritu for the head of the back technical working group. Attorney Dane. Attorney Dane. Uh, members of the, other members of the back technical working group, Engineer Michael Macabenta. Engineer Florian Atienza. Present, sir, online. Engineer Norik Baez. Present, afternoon. Mr. Jose Marie Anthony Elio. Sir Alfred Destura. Okay, Mr. Ah, thank you. Mr. Uh, Ms. Jamika Grig. Dr. Benjamin Ter. Present, sir. Thank you, sir. And Ms. Cheryl Walikan. Good afternoon, po. Thank you. Uh, our minutes, minutes taker for today is Ms. Gina Adobe. Present, sir. Sir, we may already proceed. Uh, Sir, uh, first on our agenda is a uh, supply and installation of frameless glass door for the replacement of long-standing and missing parts of main entrance aluminum frame glass door at the ground. Yes. Uh, this is for the determination of the mode of procurement. Good afternoon, everyone from BJMS presenting our presentation for the project of supply installation of tempered glass at ATS ground floor building. Uh, the project title is supply installation of frameless glass door. Uh, for the replacement of long-standing main entrance aluminum glass door at ground floor, say AP ATS gym building. The source of fund is from uh, repair and maintenance, building its address structure. APP amount is amounting to 5.6 million, and the approved IBC amount is 80,000. Uh, on this next slide, uh, showing the breakdown uh, of the project. Uh, I specify the specification of the uh, installation of frameless glass door. Uh, uh, only one set uh, with the amount of 80,000. Uh, the end user uh, recommend the mode of procurement for small value procurement. That's all, sir. That's all. Any comment from the members? 
regarding the recommendation of the uh, BJMS uh, for their small value procurement on the uh, on the supply installation of their frameless glass doors. Any comment from the members? Um, Mr. Chair, may I just ask? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, maybe it is not uh, directly uh, under this uh, the uh, the back you know, but. Uh, for uh, for for some uh, way ahead comment, uh, I have to I have to uh, to to tell this. Uh, may I ask uh, the engineers from ADMS attorney Bo, uh, being the ADMS, do we really have uh, a plan for the ATS building? Because uh, seemingly. Uh, Time and again, we are expending a smaller amount and so on and so forth. Pero at the end of the day, mm, makikita mo so much nang nagagastos natin. Only to find out sooner or later, mayroon din palang ipapatayo na na ano na you know mapatayo na bago. So uh, I think that is not really a favorable uh, condition on the part of CAP kasi nga gumagasto tayo in the long run mayroon din palang uh, master plan na ipapatayo so uh, hindi ko alam kung itong mga ganito pitchy pitchy nga glass door painting uh, as I went to a million na rin yung nagagasto natin sa mga pag pitchy pitchy dun sa ATS building so may I just ask for uh, record para sooner or later maybe that will form part na mayroong isang na grace ng ano na we have to concentrate also put uh, put an importance on the finality the ATS building kasi nga hanggang kailan pa ito glass door repainting mamaya ano na naman and we know it's too old uh, ano and it is not really designed for an office A basketball court yan eh dapat sa mga ano lang athlete uh, office supposedly so may I just ask input from ADM? Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Uh, we will uh, provide uh, you, sir, with uh, updates on this one, and we will ask the uh, HS to uh, review if there are plans for the renova renovation or uh, full rehabilitation of the ATS building or to construct a new one, sir. For a record, lang, Mr. Chair, uh, I have no, I have no uh, objection on the, on the recommendation of the end user. Oh, with that, any, you know, any motion to approve for the small value procurement, the set project? Any motion to approve from the members? Yes, yes, Mr. Chair. Yeah, please. Motion to approve the recommendation of the end user for small value procurement for the supply and installation of frameless glass door. The amount of 80,000 pesos. Any second the motion, please? Second, Mr. Chair. Okay, it has been moved and seconded for the small value procurement of the supply installation of the frameless glass door in the amount of 80,000 pesos uh, is hereby approved. Okay, Secretariat, let's go to 2.2. Item 2.2, sir. Uh, supply and installation of AC battery replacement for the articulating boom lift machine in the amount of 367,300 pesos also to be presented by Mr. Mark De La Cruz. Uh, good afternoon po ulit sa inyong lahat. Uh, presenting from BGM, BGMS, the project for supply installation of AC battery to replace defective battery sa particulating boom, lift, machine. <coughs> the source of fund is from repair and maintenance of machine equipment. Uh, approved of APP amount is 5.6 million. And the ABC amount approved is 367,300 pesos. 
the next slide showing the breakdown uh, for the project the L16H AC battery uh, 7 units amounting per unit is 51,500 with a total amount of 360,500 pesos uh, delivery parts and installation testing labor and mobilization charge uh, this is one lot a uh, unit cost is 6,800 with a total amount is of 367,300 pesos uh, the recommend uh, for mode of procurement of the end user is small value procurement. Uh, if you remember yung last time na nag uh, present po kami nito, na na deeper po, na ni-recommend namin is yung direct contracting. Uh, we coordinate with the supplier and uh, nagbigay po sila sa amin ng mga specification. Yung hinahanap po ng mga member po ng committee nung back last time. Ah, uh, ito na po yung specification ay binigay sa amin ng supplier na deliver po ng mga gift natin. Nay kita po ba sir yung specs? Yes sir, Mark, you can see it. Ah, uh, yes sir. Ah, uh, dito sir, naka-specify po yung physical specification po ng manlit battery natin with a dimension of uh, length uh, 11.66, yung width niya is 6.94, and the height is 16.74. Na naka-specify din po rito yung yung charging structure niya po, yung electrical specification niya po. Wait. At saka yung weight niya po is 125 pounds. So, ang sabi po sa amin ng nag-deliver po ng Mandip is ma-available naman po raw to sa ibang mga supplier. So, from previous namin na nagkaroon kami ng konting lack sa research na nag-recommend kami ng direct contracting, uh, we changed this for small value procurement. At saka yung supplier naman po na nag-deliver is willing naman po sumali sa bidding natin po, sir. So that's all po sir, that's all. For comments na lang po sir, kung may comment po kayo. Okay, uh, any comments from the recommendation of the BGMS for the small value procurement on the supply installation of this AC battery for the uh, boom lift? Mr. Chair? No comment. No comment. So my part. No comment. Uh, do, do I hear any motion to approve for this uh, no, procurement? Motion, Mr. Chair. Second okay. motion. Go ahead, Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, I move to adopt, Mr. Chair, the the recommendation of the end user for the item two point two. Uh, which is the supply and installation of uh, AC battery uh, as replacement of the articulating boom lift or man lift machine amounted to 367,300 pesos being a small value procurement. Second, Mr. Chair. Okay, it has been moved and seconded for a small value procurement for the supply installation of the AC battery as replacement for the articulating boom lift machine in the amount of 367,300 DC by approved. Okay, next item, Secretariat. Yes, sir. Uh, next item, item 2.3, supply of labor tools and supervision for the monthly preventive maintenance of two unit elevator in the amount of 228,000 pesos also to be presented by Mr. Mark De La Cruz. Uh, sir, presenting this project for supply and labor, tools and supervision for the monthly preventive maintenance of two units elevator. The covering of this project is for 12 months. Uh, this is the early procurement for next year. The, the covering is from January 2022 to December 2022. The source of funds is from repair and maintenance machinery equipment with approved amount of APP of 350,000. ABC amount approved is 228,000. 
Showing on next slide is the certification from the Hyundai elevator uh, for for authorizing them uh, for inclusive distributor of the parts of Hyundai elevator and for the maintenance of it. Showing in this slides the breakdown of uh, supply and labor to supervision of monthly preventive maintenance of two units for 12 months. Uh, unit co uh, amount costing per month is 19000 the total amount of 228,000. The recommend uh, mode of procurement is direct contracting. Is there any comment, sir? And uh, is there any comment, sir? Any comment from the members? Uh, may I comment, Mr. Chair? Yeah, go ahead, please. Uh, 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 Mark, oh, when you say early procurement for next year, what do you mean by that? Sir, uh, ito po yung mangyayari po natin, sir, para sa, ano, sa <clears throat> renewal po natin for January, 22, to January to December 2022. Pinaaga lang po natin to, sir. Kasi mag-start po siya from early, early the month of the uh, uh, calendar year 2022. Yeah, I understand that uh, there is no yet formal APP. Uh, we, we have to, we have to, uh, we have to wait for the official issuance of the APP, which is now uh, uh, fast tracking, by, uh, which is now on on immediate uh, uh, completion, being uh, initiated by uh, the finance department. However, uh, if uh, ano, not to not to mention this is direct contracting, maybe we can we can push through, but short of award muna, ha? Kama ano tayo don? Oh, you will wait for the fi uh, final and official APP, kasi that form part later of the documentation. So wag tayo maglagay don na hindi signed, hindi approved. Okay, just to copy just sir, to, copy sir. Uh, we can go, but short of award. Okay. Yes. Okay, po, sir. Okay. 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 Tama yun, tama yun. We can forgo a little bit short of award no muna tayo. We, un, until such time na meron tayong approved na APP. Yeah. Yun lang po, sir. May nanipest ko lang doon para... Yeah, ma thank, you. thank you. Any comment from the, ano, from the uh, technical working group? Sir, we submit to the manifestation of um, Jen Mila, sir. Short of award po, sir. Uh, sa susunod siguro, uh, it will be part ng presentation siguro, uh, technical working group, ng end user. Kasi, i, i, ano yun eh, it's proper na dapat sa kanila manggagaling yung ganun. Kasi dapat alam nila yung status nitong kanila na pinoprocure nila na ito, yung pondo nito will be coming from the 2022 budget. Is that correct? Tama ba yun? And you, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, kaya nga, eh, eh, ganun lang kasimple yun. Dapat, it's, that will be part ng presentation ninyo dapat, no? Uh, kung part ng 2022 budget yan. So, ganun, it will be a short of award and part ng kwan yun, ng presentation nyo. Uh, technical working group, kindly check on those kind of documents or presentation, no? Yes, sir. Dapat nakikita niyo yun at sinasabihan niyo sila. Especially yung mga ganitong mga uh, activity natin na uh, procurement natin na ganito, na dapat yun alam niyo rin. Hindi dapat niya pinababayaan lang ito sila and you, sir. Kaya nga the technical working group is there. You're the more knowledgeable people to check on those kind of ano, items o yung mga ganun na kwan, activities. Okay, with that, siguro, sige. Do I, uh, any more comment for the, uh, regarding this, ano, uh, the recontracting of the uh, supply of labor tools and supervision for the preventive maintenance of two unit elevator? Any other comment? Oh, on my side. Okay, hearing none. Any motion to approve? Motion, Mr. Chair. 
Yeah, go ahead, please. Uh, sir, uh, I move for the procurement uh, of the supply and uh, of labor tools and supervision for the monthly pre uh, preventive maintenance of two units elevator in the amount of 228000 uh, through uh, direct contracting pending the uh, approval of the uh, 2022 20, budget. Second the okay. motion, Mr. Chair. Okay, it's um, been moved and seconded for the direct contracting of the supply of labor tools and supervision for the monthly preventive maintenance of the two unit elevators at the central office in the amount of 228,000 pending the approval of the budget or the short of notice of award hereby approved. Okay, so again, next tile 2.4, Secretariat. Yes, sir. Item 2.4, purchase of secure socket layer certificate in the amount of 600,000 pesos to be presented by Ms. Sophie Fulmaran of MISD. Insurers. I'll be sharing our presentation for for a moment. Check it, please. Miles, paki ano muna sila at may kakausapin lang ako sa telephone. Ay, abis sir. Will ko sir, will ko. Sir, for the MISD, uh, we are requesting for the approval of uh, the back chair and the, the committee for the purchase of the secure socket layer SSL certificate. So the background for this um, project is to procure 10 units of SSL certificates charged against the 2022 budget worth 600,000. The SSL certificate is about to expire by January 2022. So just a brief, uh, brief background, SSL certificates or electronic certificates issued to websites and web services as a guarantee to website visitors and the website or their data are not being compromised, hence they are encrypted. And acquisition of these certificates will eliminate error and warning uh, posts such as bounce back emails and your connection is not a private message on your website. So the benefits of um, procuring SSL is it protects our data, affirms our identity as an organization, and um, protects data and SSL improves our customer trust. So currently, the Management Information System Division is uh, managing these um, online applications that require SSL. So we have the CAP official website. Um, wait, yeah. Sir, um, if I may po, would like to verify if nakikita pa yung presentation ko. Yes, okay na, Ms. Sophie. Okay Thank po. you. Alright, so uh, going back to the applications po, um, currently we are managing the CAP website, the CASORT for the FSIS, the app, small applications under the apps.cap of the page, the AEB online scheduling application, and the ATS database. So by next year, Paul, we are looking for um, adding other applications such as the DM or the document management system, the portal.caap.gov.ph, and then the ANSU safety management um, application, and the AEDMS, and as well as the HR in-house application, Paul, which um, each of this application requires a separate and unique SSL certificate, Paul. Hence, this office is requesting for the approval of um, small value procurement and short of award for the procurement of 10 units of SSL certificates, sir. Thank you, Paul. Ma'am Sophie? Um, yes, sir. Ma'am Sophie, may I ask, may I ask, uh, uh, at present, uh, do you have uh, or similar uh, system like this? Yes, po. yes, sir. Currently, po, we have an, a contract with um, a third party provider of SSL. However, we did not opt to renew the same because of uh, additional requirement from other services to have their own in house applications. Po. 
So this time, uh, uh, may I know how much the contract before? Around four hundred thousand, sir. You, the existing yes. po. Yeah, that's why I, I for the it's for the So the 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 the, the usual contract is uh, four hundred. Now it uh, increased uh, almost yes, by two hundred. So that yes. two hundred now, uh, that two hundred now, based the presentation mo, uh, we will cater will cater so to speak the additional demand of yes, other offices okay yes so that uh, yes, sir. so that will justify the increase from 400 to 600 yes sir okay okay uh, for the benefit din ng information uh, if and when will I know what will happen Sir, our data will be compromised po and most of our, uh, specifically our website, the kaap.gov.ph will, uh, cannot be accessible to our clients, especially those um, who are looking for an information within and outside kaap po. Kasi maglalagay po talaga allowed access to the website. Yung po yeah, yung and and uh, it through my limited uh, ano, consultation uh, this this increase of additional ano, additional features will somehow improve what we are experiencing now yung mabagal and so on and so forth sir for ah. the context po of the for the information of um, the body the SSL certificates po it's more of the cyber security um, blanket that we have aside from the firewall equipment that we have in in the data center acquiring these ssl certificates po will not compromise the data and information that our clients are providing doon sa applications po natin um for example the, the document management system um if we're going to secure one ssl certificate for that particular application po encrypted po yung files doon sir meaning it cannot be subject to hack easily though lahat naman po at, at this point in time but we're adding additional layer for security, sir. Yeah, what I'm trying to drive at is that uh, we are now experiencing uh, uh, parang slow, slow, sometimes is so slow, means sometimes nagahang. Then okay. here comes again another load, which is the SSL. Uh, will not, will not, will it not compromise? Uh, mabagal na nga, tapos dadagdagan pa ng other feature. What no, if solvin, solvin muna natin yung bilis bago mag-add tayo? Something like that. No, I'm just okay. trying to, ano, just, uh, just trying to the presentation of, uh, of these uh, features. Um, yes, sir. For, for ano po, the di difference po kasi if uh, SSL will not affect yung speed and accessibility to the websites po. It's different po from the infrastructure side, sir. It will not um, affect po yung pag-access, sir. It, okay. It's just adding a diff uh, an additional layer of security, sir. Okay, thank you for the clarification, uh, uh, Ma'am Sophie. Thank you. Thank you, sir. May we hear uh, from other members? Uh, other questions, comments, suggestions? Uh, to the chair. Oh, nandiyan na si Sir Dan. Sir, sir, you have it, sir. Sige, Mal, thank you very much. Okay, you go ahead, go ahead. Sino yun, Chiguan? Uh, uh, Gary. Gary, sir. Gary. Uh, Ma'am Sophie, uh, narinig ko kanina, uh, 2022 budget din pagkukuha na niyan? Or 2021? Yes, po, sir. 2022 po, sir. Oo. Kasi, kaya ako rin ni-raise ito. Kasi, uh, the case here will be similar doon sa previous project na uh, 22, 20, uh, 2022 budgeted na pagkukuhanan and uh, uh, Sir Miles manifested kanina na uh, hindi pa approve yung ating 22 uh, budget. So, ang magiging proseso din ito is maging similar doon sa uh, previous project na ginawa natin. Yes po sir, we also recommend din po yung short of award for this um, procurement po. Okay, sige. Thank you sir. Yun lang sir, thank you. Oh, any other comments from the members? Okay, hearing none. Uh, can we have a uh, motion to approve 
uh, for the small value of procurement of this uh, purchase of the secure, uh, secure socket layer certificate intended for the use of the MISD in amount of 600,000 uh, pending the approval of the budget or uh, short of award for this uh, project. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yeah, go ahead, John. Sir, I move for the payment of the secure socket layer certificate in the amount of uh, 600,000 as recommended by the end user through small value procurement. I second the motion, Mr. Chair. Okay, um, it has been moved and seconded. Uh, for the procurement on a small value, by a small value procurement on the purchase of this secure socket there, uh, certificate in the amount of 600,000, but short of award, zero by approved. Okay, let's go to the item number three. Discussion on the following projects, the 4.1. The request for the reconsideration on the mode of procurement for the ATFM software tool subscription from the ATS. What it is all about, uh, one secretariat or technical working group? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, during the um, meeting last time, um, the members were given time to study the matrix prepared by the end user. Uh, regarding the three possible modes of procurement for this project. So, sir, for now, um, the TWG will, uh, would like to reiterate its um, recommendation that the, that the members reconsider the mode of procurement for the ATFM software tool subscription. The mode be uh, direct contracting, sir. Uh, may, I, may, may I comment, Mr. Chair? Sige, go ahead, Miles. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, Attorney Dane, uh, TWG, may, can, you, can you just brief, uh, can you just give us a very short, uh, uh, very short background on this? Uh, honestly, personally, uh, sa dami rin nung went through not back. Uh, I cannot really specifically recall what happened to this. Why why the model can can you give us a very very short background para before we go to the decision? Yes sir. So sir the initial recommendation of the TWG and the end user is for this project to that the mode for this project be direct contracting, sir. However after several meetings, sir um, the members uh, resolved that the mode should be uh, uh, public bidding, sir, competitive bidding. Um, however, sir, the end user, uh, together with the technical working group, um, submitted a request for reconsideration that the mode be direct contracting. So last, um, sir, this, uh, possible modes and then a matrix was show flash in the screen sir however i think it was sir sugi who asked for time that they be uh, that they be given more time to study the matrix sir, since the matrix prepared by the end user was i think six pages long so uh, right now sir uh i think the members will have to decide whether they would um grant the request for reconsideration or deny the same, sir. Yeah, um, uh, yeah before we go to reconsideration, yeah, sa sana yung, uh, we, we have a lot of questions that uh, seemingly uh, the end user did not give a very comprehensive answer. That's why there was a uh, objection on the part of the members. Uh, may, may I just know sana yung mga, may tag-isa kami, talawa, tatlo na mga ano, if those were answered, if and when they were answered, 
uh, properly, then I think uh, there's no reason for approving this. Kaya lang, parang ang sagot ata is, please reconsider. Uh, dapat reconsider kasi na nasagot na lahat yung tanong nyo. Did all the questions being asked was uh, uh, comprehensively uh, uh, attained? Uh, for example, just like why why they're contracting? Why not public bidding so that the uh, others may 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 know also yung uh, yung features ng iba that somehow mayroon pa lang iba na mga supplier na maka-attain yung 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 requirements yun yung ano na eh, public bidding sorry, sir. yes uh, oh, sorry I apologize I'm late uh, we just got back to the office uh, sir, uh, just uh, just for a brief information for everyone, because last meeting this was uh, 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 exhaust exhaustively discussed uh, by the end user as well as it was uh, subjected to a lot of questions. And I think I think sir, from the last meeting, nasagot naman most of it, uh, if not all, uh, regarding the need for I mean regarding the details such as kung bakit isa lang ang supplier because this is purely subscription and doesn't include the rest of the 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 services needed um nasagot naman po yun lahat ng ATS and uh, the remaining po part was really there was a request it was actually re ripe for decision already there was just a request for additional time to review uh this particular document was being flashed on the screen which is the matrix prepared by the end user as and as discussed by the TWG last time in fact the TWG sir already provided the recommendation which is also direct contracting that's why uh, for me sir uh, I, I asked specifically from the last meeting na wag na natin patagalin na, uh, na if we're gonna review it sana by Thursday which is today ma decision na, na because um, really we're just really belaboring the issue and we're just dilly dallying and I think na establish po ng ATS ko bakit urgent uh, that's why there's also a panel here for emergency procurement which would be the proper ground if it's really urgent but then we're saying na uh, kaya naman pa rin if it did the contracting na lang uh, that was really the recommendation last time. So at this juncture po, kung wala naman na po talagang additional questions, baka naman po pwede na natin decisionan, uh, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you po. For the Chair. Uh, Attorney Rob, pakitay chairs ng sandali. May kausap ko lang si ANS. Sige po, sir. Ito po sa salins uh, na light phone nila. Na, po, sir. Ano? sir, but for, for your permission, permission, sir, we'll wait for you, sir, for the decision making uh, so that I can properly also make a motion. Hindi po kasi ako makapag-motion pag ako, chair. In any case, for discussion okay. purposes, uh, sige po, uh, sir Sugi, go ahead, sir, with you. Uh, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, yes, Mr. Chair. I think uh, General Milo was not able to to fully read the document. So, can we give uh, time for General Melo to read Sir Milo, ikaw, ikaw ang natin. <laughs> Sir, what do you think? General Milo, would you want to defer this again? Yeah. How, how much is this? Uh, no, sorry, sorry, uh, I, I, just want, I, I just want to be sure uh, para ano tayo. Sige po. Uh, uh, but I, uh, I suggest po, sir, instead of deferring it to another week, let's discuss everything now. And ito po ba yung end user, uh, Attorney Bo? Did we ask them to be here? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I think uh, Ma'am Marlene is uh, present. Ma Marlene, if you're here, I think uh, maybe there's some clarifications uh, that needs to be made uh, for General Milo. Uh, so, sir, go ahead po, sir, with your questions. Uh, ma magkano ito, Ma'am Marlene, noon? Magkano? Metron. How much? How much? Do no? Uh, wala na yung ano yung minutes. If I may, Mr. Chair, si Jody po. Uh, si Jama. Yes, sir. Yes. 
Uh, Sir Milo is asking the, the amount. Is that correct, uh, Sir Milo? Yes, yes. Uh... Yes, apa. Uh, historically, Sir, ang first project ng ETFM way back 2020, prior to the uh, revision, uh, it was uh, 210 million and 40,000 for the uh, first uh, part of the payment. Then for the second part of the payment, another 210 and 40. So a total of 420. If we're going to buy the uh, the proposal, then was a physical server. Then uh, after the uh, the uh, the the time na nagaroon po ng mga pandemic, then the uh, the budget constraints uh, came into view. So uh, the uh, ETS end user opted for the subscription. So uh, the uh, the uh, the ETS uh, uh, top management coordinated with the you know, with uh, Metron. Who was uh, uh, the you know, uh, uh, regional ano, uh, software and application system that na provides sa ano sa ating air traffic flow management? Then uh, November 2020 up to September 2021 po yon. Then uh, nagbigay po sila ng ano nagkaroon po talagang isang uh, something like a kick off meeting. Then afterwards nagsend po sila ng kadalang uh, quotation. So the quotation it was forwarded in you know in a uh, box secretariat in dollar form so uh isa pong ano isang six months at saka isang uh, isang one year annual every six months po yung payment scheme na pinoward na metron in dollar form kung i-convert na into peso ang first six month payment po is in dollar is 243833 so kung titingnan po natin yun in peso form times 50 na sa mga 12m 191650 for the first payment which is 6 months then 3 year contract po ang proposal ng Metron okay because the project is ano sorry aligned from our uh, procedure design software the original budget of uh, procedure design software uh, is uh, 25m so nagrealign po ang uh, ang uh, ATS uh, end user at uh, ang naibigay po is yung 20m so, 20M po yung ABC natin, then uh, hopefully, magkaroon po tayo ng negotiation meeting with the uh, Metron and uh, the bid offer which is uh, 1219 using the, uh, the conversion ng 50, yun po yung ating, ano, ang ating pong magiging, uh, magiging uh, uh, discussion during the negotiation meeting with Metron, sir. Thank you. So, this will be parang multi-year ito, Sir Joma, no? later. Yes, sir. Opo. Hopefully, sir, kasi wala, uh, wala po siyang budget sa 2021. Uh, mm. Ganito siguro ang ano muna natin. Kasi uh, I'll just go back to the ano, initial issue. No? The initial issue is here is uh, that for public meeting siya. Is that correct? Tama ba yun? Uh, technical working group. Yes, sir. At present, sir, it's for public meeting, sir. Public bidding and the and, and the uh, mode of uh, and the uh, motion for reconsideration is uh, uh, to this to be procured for a what the recontracting. Yes, Tama sir. Ba yan? Yes, sir. So with that, siguro di ba ang ano nagahanap tayo before ng ano ng certificate of uh, sole distributorship para mag it will fall under the uh, ano the recontracting. Is that correct? Tama ba yan? Doon tayo tumigil. Technical Working Group. Sir, um, yung iba po pong grants for the, ano, for the recontracting. I-flash, pa-flash na lang bo. Thank you. Let's stick to the issue. Ano ba yung issue ng ano nito, di ba? Ganon, yung mode of procurement niya. From uh, public bidding to direct contracting. So what are the elements that will fall under the direct contracting and what are those? It will fall under it then so then it will decide. Doon muna, yun muna uh, yes, pag usapan natin. Sir, uh, showing to you on screen the members of the committee, uh, under the IRR of 9184 for direct contracting. Um, direct contracting may be resorted to under any of the following conditions. And the conditions are, as shown on screen, there are three. 
Number one, when the procurement of goods of proprietary nature can be only obtained through a proprietary source, such as patents, trade secrets, and copyrights, which prohibits others from manufacturing the same. Or when the procurement of critical components from a specific supplier is a condition precedent to hold a contractor to guarantee its project performance in accordance with the provisions of its contracts. Or those sold by an exclusive dealer or manufacturer which does not have sub-dealers selling at lower prices and for which no substitute, suitable substitute can be obtained at a more advantageous terms to the government. In addition to the three items, there's also uh, to justify the need for procure uh, uh, projects through direct contracting method. The end user should also conduct a survey of the industry and de determine the supply source. And in all cases where direct contracting is contemplated, a survey must also be conducted prior to the commencement of the procurement process. Um, moreover, the end user must also justify the necessity of the item that may only be procured through direct contracting and must be able to prove that there is no suitable substitute in the market that, be, ca that can be obtained by the government at the more advantageous terms. That would be all, sir. Oh, technical working group. What can you say about the sano sa sinabi ni Secretariat? Dapat may uh, yes, justification. Technical working group. If we don't have any justification or a clear manifestation on how to uh, do it on a direct contracting, eh, wala tayong pag-uusapan dito. Kaya nga kayong technical working group nandiyan to assess, to, to evaluate. If you don't have any assessment or evaluation on that, then let's forgo about this project. Next time na lang ulit. If you are not yet ready. Kasi kami mga, kami mga members dito ang ano eh, napipiga eh. Kami ang gumagawa ng trabaho ng technical working group, which is not supposed to be. You should present to us what are the vital information or documents that will fall under this ano nito, mga provision na to. And yet, oh, eh, where are those? Ah uh, yes, sir. Sir, um, sir Joma will present the certificate of sole distributorship, sir. If you're not ready, we we forgo this and muna on the next session again. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Sir Joma will present sir the certificate of sole distributorship. It seems you did not uh, do your assignments, gentlemen. Dapat tuloy-tuloy ang ano dito, presentation. Everything is, everything is procedural here. Nandiyan naman nakalatag na, binasa naman natin. Alam niyo naman yun. And what are, what are those? You present to us, then we will comment the members. Kung wala kami ipipresent, wala kaming kukomentaryohan. Wala kaming aaprubahan. Yes sir, if I may. Uh, nakikita na po sa screen sir yung certificate of sole distributorship? Mr. Secretary. Uh, natakpan sir Jomar. Uh, for a while. Yes sir, uh, kindly zoom in sir. Hindi po. Uh, ano yung ano natin, ano yung authenticity nitong documents na to? Uh, Juan, uh, Secretariat or Technical Work of the Attorneys, how can we know that it is aut aut authentic itong documents na to? Sir Joma, mayroon ka na nung apostille po niyan. Kasi pag hindi authentic yan, wala tayong ano, na ma-prove na authentic yung dokumento na yan certification ng ang ano niya ng uh, sole distributorship o siya lang ang nag-aano niya ni eh, it is uh, tama ba tong ano natin Yes sir to the chair uh, attorney Dean, I think all goes Teka muna Jomari Yes sir sorry Yes sir Mas di attorneys Attorney Bo yes, attorney Ding 
Yes, sir. Sir, the authenticity of the documents uh, will be examined by the technical working group along with the other requirements, sir, such as their uh, business uh, registration. Sir. Oh, so uh, would, technical uh, working group. Did you check all the authenticity of these ano, documents that will be out na requirement natin dito? Ito yung pinag-usapan natin before. And you, sir, must produce the documents. Ngayon, did you check the ano, authenticity niyan before presenting it to the members? Dito sa back. If not, Sir Yaman, may apostil na po yan. Uh, Mr. Chair. Sige, Jomari. It is authentic ba yung mga yan? Na-check ba yung mga yan? Yes, sir. I think uh, not, not yet, sir. Uh, we're going to inform pa ng the, the metron, sir. The well, how, can we, how can we decide here if hindi na-check yan yung authentic yung mga dokumento na ipinapakita nyo sa amin? How can we decide? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, I think we're going to write them, sir. We're going to write the metron, informing them to submit the authentic answer. Yes, sir. Or if not, um, that, 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 that's why I'm telling. If if not, nagmamadali tayo dito sa project na to, and yet eh, somebody is not doing their assignment, what shall we do? Uh, Mr. Chair, sir, for this um, meeting po is for the a uh, determination of mode po upon um if naman po ma determine po na for direct contracting we will uh, evaluate all the doc necessary documentary requirements po hindi, hindi nga eh. yeah tama yung sinasabi mo pero ngayon nandito eh, pwede naman mag-produce kahit sino ng mga document na yan eh pwede bang ganon na uh, ano natin kahit hindi pa natin na-check na authentic yung mga yan sa uh, uh, ano Saka tayo mag, uh, ano, pwede nga sabihin, ano rin. Eh, ganun pa rin yung process na yun, eh. Tama ba tong ginagawa natin na ito? Yun ang tanong ko sa inyo. Sir, Dapat mga dokumenta na pinapakita nyo dito sa amin, eh, ano yan, authentic lahat yung mga yan. Sir, in the event naman po na hindi po nila ma-produce yung mga documents, hindi naman po din ma-award, sir. So, sir, after po kasing ng determination yung of the mode, tsaka pa lang din po mapopost and dun pa lang din po kasi i-require mag-submit talaga nung iba pang document, sir. Any comment from the members of the board? Of the back? Di sa ano ng technical king sa proposal nila na will allow this uh, kind of documents na pinapakita nila then uh, we'll just check that uh, on a later na lang uh, Mrs. Mr. Chair just to just to clarify the rules as well this was actually also discussed during the last meeting because um uh, the proper process po since nasa mode of procurement pa lang po tayo wala pa tayo sa pre-bid conference at sa pre-procurement uh, pre conference it's not even posted yet uh, the, the completeness of the documentation, sir, is not really 100% uh, mandatory. In fact, makikilatis natin to, sir, when they do the pre-procurement conference after we have determined the mode. So, pagdating po ng mode, uh, ipipresent po ng, ng end user yung full bid documents, instruction to bid sa atin, sa bago nila i-post. And doon po natin... Uh, uh, pwede yan i-discuss further. But at this juncture, I think the, the primary issue is just really the determination kung ano pang mode ang pipiliin, which I think, sir, is um, pwede naman po nating pag so that we can already move forward. Okay. Kasi, uh, Attorney Rob, kasi the last time ng ano natin dito, yun yung issue. Uh, yung ano, yung tawag dito, yung, yung how to prove na silang, uh, ano sila, na yung sole distributorship sila mag-produce ng dokumento. Yun yung issue eh. Kaya ano, from uh, ano siya, public meeting to tawag dito to uh, direct contracting. Ngayon, nag-produce sila ng ano, uh, ng isang dokumento na nagsasabi na ganito. Ngayon, yun at kaya yun ang tinatanong ko, yung authenticity ng kwan nito ngayon na uh, para talagang papasok siya doon. So, okay lang ba na ano, 
na yung sa sinasabi na papasok na yun doon na ano na next ano na lang siya next session na yung ano niya uh, during the deliberation na natin makikitig na kung talagang authentic pero as of now may dokumentong pinapakita na we don't know na if it's authentic ito o hindi then we can forgo so yun ang point doon kasi noon hinahanapan natin ngayon naglabas sila na hindi natin alam kung authentic siya o hindi so it is not yet the proper time parang ganun yun na Juan na hanapan natin sila na authentic na dokumento kasi yun ang ano pinagtalunan last time eh, na ano yung kwan dokumento na stating o certifying na ano nila ngayon inaano natin ngayon kung ano, authentic ba yung ano yun na talagang siya magpo false don so ngayon kung yung tanong ko kung it will ano uh, under the law or ano na we uh, we can ano uh, providing us that kind of document lang whether it is uh, ano siya authentic or not on the next level na natin titingnan talaga na ano then it's fine yes sir uh, as i was saying uh, uh, the, under the rules naman po sir it doesn't state na kailangan in fact kailangan nila talaga i-submit yung authentic doon sa kapag ka nag-post na natin ito at na nag-start na tayo on okay. the process Uh, at okay. this juncture, hindi naman po siya mandatory, Mr. Chair. But again, that's uh, completely discretionary upon the back. Kung kaya gusto natin i-record, wala naman sila magagawa po, sir. Okay. Yun po yung ano. Yun po, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Ilang naman, il ilang naman ina-assure ko na at least uh, hindi tayo pwedeng ma masita ng kung sino na we allow na ganito na yung ano yung, yung dokumento na pinipresent na ano na without checking the authenticity, then... Yun nga, okay lang. Yun lang, ano ko lang, baka may mag-uncheck sa atin. Then, at least kung within the, ano pa rin naman niya, within the bounds of the law or the regulation, that's that's fine. True na, Chair. Tinatanong ko nila. Sige, Jos, any comment? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, we are procuring an air traffic flow management software tool. And that is the name of the project, Mr. Chair. The Horizon is the name of the, is the brand that they are offering, that they are Uh, that they would like to buy a particular brand of software, which is Horizon. Aren't we violating the provisions of the law? Mr. Chair, I think this was also answered during the last meeting uh, because the specs that's being required is highly particular, meaning a subscription-only model, which is not being provided by any other uh, provider. If that's the case, then it is uh, legal in, in determining a single provider that can actually uh, provide the, the product given the specs that we are requiring as per the end user. Uh, I think the end user is in a better position to explain this. Uh, tama naman po kayo, Mr. Sure, dapat hindi, kami ang nage, hindi tayo ang nag-explain ito. Uh, maybe the TWG and the end user can explain uh, and answer that question, please. Thank you. If I may, Mr. Chair, Joa Maripo. Sige, sige, Jamari. Yes, opo. Uh, yun pong, ano, sir, yun pong uh, uh, horizon na binanggit ni uh, Sir Sugi, ay uh, yun po yung ginamit ng ating ATFM from November 2020 up to September 2021. Then, uh, ito pong horizon up na ito ay uh, ang ating uh, next na ating ipoprocure. I-upgrade po natin, dadagdagan po natin ang features nitong horizon ito at magiging harmony po. Magiging harmony na magiging level 3 po ang multinodal ang capability ng ating ATFM Philippines. So, from horizon to harmony po, system up. Thank you, sir. Sir Joma, I think the question really is, uh, I understand Sir Sugi's point, kasi under the bidding setup, we're supposed to make it as open as we can. The only exemption is, uh, if there is no other provider, which you as the end user has been trying to establish from the very beginning, And why we are naming a single uh, product, ano let Horizon Software, while why we are um, um, requiring a very specific software, tinatanong ni Sir Sugi, would this not be a violation of the free open bidding setup that we're supposed to be doing? I think that's the most important thing you need to answer right now, uh, Sir Joma. As sir, if I may, sir, I asked uh, Attorney Bo to flash the equipment advantages, sir. Um, the first in the first column, sir. The new this is for the public bidding. The new winning bidder subscription tool will not be compatible with the existing ATFM har hardware since right now, sir, we already ha have the hardware. I, I and we will just um, 
be procuring the subs subscription, sir. So only Metron equipment can be configured with its with its own system. And then the second is for the um, direct contracting. The existing Horizon software installed in the ATFM hardware is ready for the Harmony software upgrade. This one will be the delivered by the um, contractor, sir, by Metron, sir. And the last is for the emergency procurement, sir. The hardware is designed to handle the Metron so software tool. Through the chair, uh, the question, siguro the proper, the ne proper next question will be, bakit Horizon software? Why not any other software? Why very specifically Horizon software? Attorney Rob, uh, to the chair, uh, uh, for further discussions or for further explanation, I think the, the ATFM uh, FIC is here. Survey, can you uh, discuss yes. the question? Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, Yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon po sa, mem sa head ng BAP. Uh, my name is Virgilio Cipriano, sir. Sir, kaya po Horizon, uh, uh, actually, yung Horizon po is sa, hindi po siya yung bibili natin. So, yung Harmony po, updated, uh, kumbaga mas, mas mataas doon sa level ng Horizon. So, kaya, lang, kaya po yan ang bibili natin. Is wala naman po nag-offer sa market na subscription. So, yun, Yung dati po, nag-present ako, is physical physical server po yung ipinipresent nila. Wala po silang subscription. Whereas, yung Metron po, yung Harmony, ay, binibig, ay binigyan na nila tayo ng option through subscription. Para mas madali po. Yun lang po. Binigyan tayo ng subscription. So, what about the subscription? Nakamura ba tayo doon o napamahal o ano yung ano dito yung ano yung very convenient yung mode of payment natin. Ano yung cost yes, sir. ng subscription uh, na sinasabi mo? Yes sir, the cost of the subscription is around uh, 20 million plus a year whereas a physical server is cost for almost 420 million doon sir. Hindi i ano mo i-clarify mo yung kwan yung ano yung sa for the record kasi uh Berhilio yung sinasabi mo yes, subscription sir. ano ba yon divided into how many months or weeks or years na ganito yes, na ano instead of one count pay, one time payment lang it will be mode on an installment or uh, something like that na it will become advant advantageous to us and to the government so explain mo kung advantageous ba yan o o disadvantageous sa atin sa gobyerno just for the record, para alam namin, hindi yung sasabihin mo lang na sila lang nagbigay ng ganito. So what? Kung sila lang nagbigay ng installment, uh, anong advantage na makukuha natin dyan? Uh, para nalalaman namin lahat and for the record also, kaya tayo nag sa ganito. Kasi yan yung, ano, yan yung those were the reasons na maging information natin in the future na gamit natin kung bakit na, namin pinayagan ng BAC na mag-result sa ganito at pumayag sa ganito ang ano natin, ang setup. So, sige, Berilio. Sige, sir. Uh, sir, yung cost po kasi ng subscription ng, ng uh, Metron hardware is uh, 20, for example, 20, 26 million, sir. If you, if you multiply yung 420, sir, if you divide it by 26 million, so, almost 10 years pa, sir. Hindi, kumbaga, yung 10 years na yun, kulang pa rin doon sa 26 million a year, sir. Kumbaga, ma, yung 400 million, magagamit mo yun, sir, in 20 years. 20 years na gagamitin mo, yung 400 million, samantalang yung server, sir, ang lifespan lang yan is 10 years. Meaning to say, mauubos na yung 420 million mo, sir, sa 20, sa, in 20 years. Kung maga, sir, 10 years mo lang magagamit itong ano, server. Eh. Pero itong subscription mo, sir, 26 million, three, kung sa 3 years, uh, kung sa 10 years, aabutin uh, lang ng 200 million, 260 million. So it's very adv advantageous sa government kung magsasubscription lang yung gagamitin natin, sir. Kasi yung lifespan ng server is 10 years, Ganun lang, 
uh, through the chair. Sige, go ahead. Uh, oh, I see ATS. Gandang hapon po sa lahat. Uh, we just want to clarify, sir. Ha? Uh, ito po project na to ay for subscription eh. Napunta lang po yung issue ng 420 million as a comparison doon sa price. Pero just the same, to answer your question, sir, is definitely beneficial and cost effective for the government. Ang in-offer po ng ibang suppliers sa market includes the hardware and the software, which would cost us 420 million not including upgrades kung ang ang server po the physical server the hardware as well as the software would be good for at most 10 10 years ang um, ano dun sir wala na tong upgrade sir matatali po tayo doon where as ito pong 20 stone which is an annual subscription Kung i-multiple na sir na, yun yung lifespan noong, noong uh, ibang ino-offer sa market, it would be 260 million. Mas mura pa rin siya, sir. And the plus factor is inclusive of ano tong 26 million, sir. Upgrade in the market. Alam naman po natin na yung mga digital na ano natin, upgrades two years, parang kagaya ng cellphone natin, sir, maya maya at nag-upgrade. So, at least ito, sir, kasama po dun sa 26 million per year, yung upgrade within a particular period. Even the maintenance ng hardware, sasakupi nila yun, sir. Hindi po tayo yung ma-out yun on our shoulders. Pasok po yun sa subscription terms nila, sir. Eh, yung hardware niyan, available na ba dyan sa, uh, ano, dito sa atin? Kaya software lang yung ano nila, itong inaano na to? Subscription, sir, even the software will remain to be their property. Kaya nga, software or, or pati yung, hard, yung hardware na dyan na sa atin. Magpa-provide po sila sa atin ng hardware, sir, pero hindi po siya pag-aari natin. Pag-aari so, po nila. In short, parang kung... Ya ano natin to sa layman's ano parang ito yung kwan parang kwan lang ito tawag dito yung yung mga photocopier natin na inaano natin na iyon may analogy um, yan sir par parang ganon ang ano would be the best analogy sir yung ganon parang iupahan lang natin yung ano natin ngayon kung ano yung latest na no ibigay nila sa atin pero ito pa rin ang bayad natin Tama ba yun? Opo, ganun, ganun yung pa, mangyayari. Ganun, sa para, ganun kasimple yung ano na yun. Yung, Opo. Yung, yung, yung software and hardware, sila pa rin may ari, pero ang ibibigay nila sa atin, yung top of the line o yung the latest updated na ano na. With a yes, subscription. Yun po yung in-offer nila. Kaya po nung kinausap po kami, kasama sila DG, at of course aware naman si Attorney Rob, si Attorney Dan, yun po yung kinlear nila nung in-offer nila to sir. Kaya nga, pero lalabas dito, hindi tayo matatambakan ng hardware dito na magiging obsolete in a, in a while. Let's say, hindi po, sir, years, nga, sir. Years, outdated hindi na siya po. o outmodel na siya, meron na labas na bago, palit na naman tayo, nakatambak na yung ano dyan na hindi na natin magagamit. Ah, hindi po siya magiging ganun, sir, kasi nga sa kanila yun. Eh. Kaya nga, so, kaya nga, yun, 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 nililiwanag ko lang, yun yung sinasabi ko na ganun. So, in short, uh, yung, gaga yung gagamitin natin yan, parating nasa top of the line. Pero hindi natin pag-aari. Yun lang ang oh, ano nun. Na oh, eventually matatambak din kung pag-aari man natin. Ang, ang ano rin natin ito, sir, Tapos, is what we are looking for. Mas mura, mas mura siya. Yes, sir. Kung, kung, kung yes, sir. Kung, mo dun, kung kukumpitin mo dun sa kunyari, yung bibili tayo ng kwan, ng yung full ano ng kwan, tapos kung i-divide mo o i-multiply mo for certain number of years, mas makakamura pa rin ba tayo? Sir, kung yung current uh, market price po na 420 million, which yeah, is good for... Do you have a feasibility study ka na dito? May feasibility uh, 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 study ka na dito? 
uh, hindi siya market study siya sir it's a market oh, study oh, actually kung baga yung cost, cost benefit analysis meron yes, sir. Dito? Actually, okay. meron, tayo meron po na sir yan. meron po sir kaya po yun yung computation na binibigay namin sir if it's the nasa market yun? price for 20 nasa million nasa yun? nga nasa yung cost benefit analysis na yun yung dokumento actually, na yun actually sir nakapaloob ni po siya dito sa matrix okay Mer Nakapaloob po siya sa okay. matrix. Okay. Pwede bang ihiwalay natin yan kung ano, para ano, makita rin natin kung ano? Uh, uh, just for the uh, record. Well, well, during, the, during the deliberation, during the ano na ng final deliberation okay. itong ano, to, to check na ano para makita lang rin natin. Kasi yun yung magsasabi na ano talaga eh. Yung cost-benefit analysis na yun that will say or that will tell us to everyone na ito, mas mura ito talaga so anywhere in the ano. In the, in the market nowadays at ito yon yung gamit namin at any uh, at uh, any given time ito yung top of the line in the ano sa andito sa aviation industry yung nagsasabi ng ganon at nakakamura kami so yun yung magsasabi yung cost benefit analysis nila yun, nakamura tayo sige po sir hihiwalay namin sir yeah o oh, oh. although uh, nandun uh, pa rin siya maglagay ka ng separate uh, ano lang uh, booklet o folder yung ano na yung cost benefit analysis na yun sige po and, and and for the record sir if i may be allowed to ano sir the cost in the market is 420 million ng package hard, hardware and software this subscription okay. cost 26 million kung 10 years po iraran yung yung uh, hardware and software pack <laughs> Tapos na siya. Pero sa atin, sa subscription, ang nagagastos pa lang natin would be 260 million. That would then be a saving of... Yun po yung nakalagay doon sa cost yeah. analysis. Tap, naka, nakamura na tayo, tapos ang gamit pa natin, yung latest ano latest technology. Yes po. So yun yes, ang mag-aiting mag natin doon. Uh, yes sir, yun when yun you say latest... Doon. Oh. And sir, uh, when we say latest technology, we will be abreast with our regional member, uh, with our regional FIR. So, kung halimbawa po yung sinasabi naming third level na modal na pwede tayong kumonek sa kanila, kaya habang nag-upgrade sila, nag-upgrade tayo, nag-uusap po yung system. So, ibig sabihin... Nakakapagbigay sila ng calculated take-off time ng Singapore, calculated take-off time Hong Kong, yung pong lahat ng ating adjacent FIRs. Yeah. In short Kasi and simple... Kasi halos yeah, In short and simple, we're on the same frequency or on the, we're on the same language. Tama yes, ba yun? Yes po, sir. Opo, yes okay. po, sir. O, sige. With that, siguro, any, ano, any other comments from the members? Okay, hearing none. Uh, if we are going to proceed with direct contract, which among the three you have shown the repair criteria for direct contract? Uh, which among the three criteria would it fall? Technical working group. And you, sir? Sir, as we've already uh, shown earlier, um, there's a exclusive distributorship for this pro uh, for the subscription, sir. So it can fall under C, those sold by an exclusive dealer or manufacturer, which does not have sub-dealers selling at lower prices and for which no suitable substitute can be obtained at more advantageous terms to the government. Any comment, Josh? A uh, comment, sir, but the terms okay. of reference is tailored for Metro. Isn't it... Uh, sir, may I? Sorry, kailangan yes. ko na umalis po kasi dahil may dry run po ng board. Oh, sir, that is really the nature okay, of the contract. Dito lang muna ako, ha? Dito lang ako. Apo, sir. Okay lang po, sir. Oh, doon ka na that, muna. That really, just to explain po, yun po talaga ang point ng direct contracting. It's really tailored because the need is very specific and tailored and i think that's what the end user is saying because nga subscription model which i think the the ddga was able to also appreciate earlier na there's advantages to it 
uh, that's so, and then there's a cost benefit uh, uh, study os, uh, on it as well. So that's really the basis of it. Ganun po talaga yon. So kung ang inaalala po natin is dahil bakit uh, bakit sa isa lang nakapasok, yun po talaga yung point ng direct contracting. Kaya po siya sinasuggest ng direct contracting kasi isa lang po talaga yung pwedeng makapag-provide nung, nung produkto na yon. Yun po talaga yon. So kung yun po yung dinadwell nating question, I think uh, yun, uh, that, 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 so that's what we can hold on to about it. Yun po talaga yung model na yun, sir. Are you ano, comfortable enough, uh, Josh? Sir, sorry po ulit with that. May, may I be permitted to exit in antenna po ako na DJ kasi sir. Ah, okay, see, na, see, Maraming see, salamat you, po. You. Yun lang po, you, that's you. my piece po. Pero ako po sir, I recommend na i-approve na po for the contracting. Yun lang po sir. Thank you for okay, uh, everyone. Okay. Good afternoon. Okay, okay Rob, sige. Thank you. Ah, uh, Juan, Josh, any ano? Uh, any I, I submit to the I submit to the decision of the chair. Okay. Sige, thank you very much for your ano yung ano mo yung uh, comment mo dun sa kwan na yon. So any other ano any other comments or issues uh, dun sa kwan natin that we have uh, taking up regarding the ano this uh, direct contracting of this kwan uh, ATFM software tool subscription. Magkano na to? Walang amount eh. How much is this, uh, end user? Sir, 26 million po. 26, 26. Opo, sir. Opo, sir. So, ano ito? By ano rin to? 2022, ano rin? Chargeable 2022, ano? Budget? Sir, if I may, Jomari po. Sige, go ahead. Yes, sir. Oh, sa 2021, sir, uh, ang ating realign na budget for this one is 2 0 Ah, okay na to. Okay. Yeah, pa, opo. 2020, sa 2022, sir, uh, nasa PPMP na po siya, sir. Okay, sige. Okay, so with that, siguro, any other ano, comments on the ano, on this uh, uh, project? Hearing none, uh, can I ano, have a uh, motion to approve for the recontracting of this uh, one project? Hola. Anybody to ano? Among the members. Any motion to approve members? Oh, yes, sir, I move to accept the recommendation of the end user for the procurement of the ATS and software tool to be direct contracting. Any second motion? The second, Mr. Chair. Uh, oh, mahinang mahinang internet natin ha. Ma ma matagal makarating yung sound effect ng mga ako. Nagmo-motion tsaka nagsa-second motion. Anyway, uh, it has been moved and seconded uh, the, the uh, mode of procurement for the uh, uh, ATFM software tool subscription for intended for ATS in the amount of 26 million is by the recontracting survey approved. Okay. Sige. Uh, next item, uh, Secretariat. Yes, sir. Contract of Elser. Yes, sir, sir, Chair. Mr. Chair. Sige, uh, go ahead, Miles. Sir, uh, dalawang beses lang nag-call na si Kowa. Uh, saglit lang, sir. Saglit lang. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Go ahead, go ahead. Ba babayin ko lang saglit, sir. Saglit lang. Naka-online pa rin ako. Forum ba? Still a forum? Uh... We, without uh, Genmail, sir, we won't have a quorum, but uh, we can proceed with the meeting and then um, we'll wait for his attendance when the motion is to be placed, sir. No, I'm still online. I'm still online. I'm still online. Okay. Yes, sir. Tawagan mo lang, Miles. Tawagan mo lang. 
Okay sir, okay sir, okay sir. Okay, sige, sige. Sige, go ahead. Let's proceed. Yes, sige, sir. Sige, Kwan. Uh, ano, uh, Secretariat, Attorney Bo. Yes, sir. Uh, the next item is the extension of the contract of LSERV. This will be presented by Mr. Wilmar from uh, HR. Good afternoon. Go ahead, please, Wilmar. Mr. Chair, good afternoon, everyone. Secretariat, may request for the... Okay. Uh, this is the uh, I'm going to present the request of HRMD for the extension of CAAP Serve Manpower Outsourcing Contract. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, for the background, the CAAP Serve Contract was awarded to Serve Corporation last uh, October 9, 2019. And the current uh, extension or contract of CAP and ELSA Corporation uh, will expire on December 31, 2021. Uh, very interesting for the extension. This is based also to the CEC COA DVM Gen Circular Number 2 of 2020 that limits the uh, renewal of uh, direct hired contractual personnel by December 31, 2022. So, nag-comply po tayo, sir, uh, based sa uh, joint circular na to. Right now, as a background, also the existing LSERB managed employees, we have 2,811. Uh, next slide, please. So the objective uh, objectives for this the proposed for the proposed extension number one this is to ensure that uh, we'll have a continued delivery of technical and support services of CAAP central office and area centers uh, number two this is to avoid uh, displacement and promote the welfare of 2811 contractual personnel especially during this uh, period of pandemic uh, number three, this is to avoid a uh, possible adverse effect of election ban on the hiring of scheduled uh, on March 25 to 8, May 2022. And then this is to provide also sufficient time to resolve some concerns and issues in the preparation of the next public meeting for the new institutional contract or outsourcing upon the expiration of the next existing in contract and then next slide please so uh, the HRMD I would like to recommend to this body the extension of existing contract by six months from January to June 2022 subject to uh, rules and regulation and guidelines of procurement law and then uh, at the same time, we can prepare public bidding for another institutional contract of uh, outsourcing service contract. And then prepare for a new and revised terms of reference. And then standardize the position, titles, and jobs description. And we will be able to correct some uh, uh, limitation or restriction in the previous contract. Uh, that will be all, sir. Wilmar? Yes, sir. Itong sinasabi mo ng ano dito, by, Gen by June 30, o oh, prepare for public bidding for uh, outsourcing service contract, in just in case, no? Yes, sir. Hindi uh, uh, ba tayo maano ng mga election ba, no? Ano, dito sa, during this time of the year, yung ganito dito sa ano na to? Yung... Election ban natin for hiring, sir, will start March 25 until May 8, 2022 po. So, 
yung election ba hanggang May 20, hanggang May? May 8 hindi po. Ba, hindi ba July yun? 45 days after. Before the hiring. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, eh, bakit May? Uh, sir, iba po yung, uh, if I may, sir. Oh, sir, sige, sir. sige, sige. Eh, sir, iba po, sir, yung um, uh, ban yung hanggang sa 45 days for sir? the hiring of uh, personnel until May 8 lang, sir. I can flash the... Hanggang May 8 list. lang? Yes, sir. So, May 9, pwede ka na mag-hire? Yes, sir. Okay. So, may, may, may ano, yun yung policy, yung regulation? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, ibig sabihin, wala tayong problema dito? Nang sa, sa timetable natin na ganit na mangyayari dyan. Just in case na we want to, ano, yung uh, prepare the public for public bidding, yung susunod o yung i-open na ulit natin yung kwa natin, dito sa yung outsource ng ano, uh, hindi tayo mo problema. Uh, no, no, sir. Ha? Uh, hindi po, sir. Sir, yung ban po kasi, ano, yung disbursement lang po ng public funds. So, uh, even uh, during the ban, kung magsa-start po tayo ng uh, procurement process, as long as wala po tayong dinidisburse na public funds, eh, okay lang po. Wala po tayong mabaviolate na restrictions ng Comelec, sir. Okay. Another yes, sir. So, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, then, yes, ahead. sir. So, sir, we can um, proceed with the procurement um, activities, but short of award, sir, during the uh, Comelec ban, sir. Yes. yes. Sino mag-ano nito? Sino mag-trigger nito? It's our... Sir, sir, but... Sir Bali, um, within the period from January 1 to 30, they can start na, sir, preparing the documents, sir, the revised TOR. And pwede na din po nilang gawin. Yung pong mga na, naka-enumerate dito, sir, prepare TOR, standardized position titles, review standards. Yung yun, HR. Yes, HR, sir, and you, sir, sir. Yes, sir. Alam ba ng HR na gano'n ang gagawin nila? Tanong yes, sir. It's part of their recommendation na din naman po, sir. Okay. Next question. Uh, ano ang ano natin dito, Juan? How does it affect yung sa Willis Tower natin? Yung sa timetable ng Willis Tower. Sir, wala, sir. Ba siyang, wala ba siyang implication? Walang ano? Hindi, inaano kinasahit ko lang kasi I'm just want to extend my imagination by then eh. Meron tayong Willis Tower na ano na hopefully Ma, matatapos na siya anytime soon. O ano ba yung timetable ni Willis Tower? Versus itong ano natin, pagkuha natin ng ano. Siyempre, may, may effect itong pagkuha natin ng, ng additional na tao na ito. How does it affect? It doesn't matter ba? O ano? Anong kwan? Any evaluation, any assessment, uh, Wilmar? To the chair. Uh, sir, uh, Willis Tower naman natin, sir, by facing yung pag-place natin ng tao. So, mag-start naman siya by 2023. Yun yung target natin, sir. So, ibig sabihin, wala to. It will not affect? Yes, sir. Okay. Sige. Kung wala, hindi okay lang. So, thank you. Sige, next, ano, next uh, chart. Uh, sir, that would be also a recommendation, a requesting for the uh, resolution from the BAP regarding the request for extension of contract. Any comment from other members on the extension of this uh, LSERB contract uh, for, the, for the next six months, that is from January 1 to June 30 of 2022? Any comments? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what is the provision of the law regarding contract extension? I I, I believe uh, LSERV's contract was extended already for one year, for 2021. Aren't we violating any law when we extend the contract? 
contract for another six months. Technical uh, working group. Yes, yes, sir. sir. Um, the ELSER contract was initially extended for 10 months, sir. And we relied on the provisions under um, resol uh, GPP Resolution 23-2007 and under the general conditions for extension, sir. The only prohibition is that the no contract extension shall exceed one year, sir. So in this case, sir, the recommendation is only for six months, sir. So what is meant by that, sir, is that um, per extension, sir, it should not exceed one year, sir. Bawat extension pala yun, Attorney Dane? Sir? Every extension should not exceed 12 months. Yes, sir. So that means I can extend the contract for another 12 months. Sir, from um, my understanding, sir, if up to 12 months, sir, if we go beyond that, sir, yun po yung medyo hindi na po allowed, sir. No, yun po yung nasa prohibition. So up to 12 months po. But uh, since this is just a... This is just an emergency measure, sir. So the um, the interpretation should be just to give enough time for the procurement activity for the regular buildings. Yung extension po, uh, hindi siya cumulative, ganun po ba yun? No, sir. Sir, this was discussed before. Um, I'm not sure which project, pero ni na discuss na din po na hindi hindi po siya um cumulative po talagang per extension lang po ah uh, Juan iliwanag mo na masyado Juan attorney Ding pakiliwanag na gusto yung extension of one year na to mukhang uh, yes, ano eh Nag, bigla akong naguluhan doon sa ano na yun eh. Pakiliwanag. Kasi sabi mo one year. Eh meron na tayo nag ano na tayo ng uh, ano eh. Ng March to December that is 10 months. Then hirit ka tapos hindi siya cumulative. So another 6 months. Kung itutuloy mo yan, kung cumulative siya that is already ano. 16 months or sobra ka ng 4 months. Kung hindi naman siya cumulative, okay lang siya. Hanggang ilang beses yes. ka dapat ba mag-extend? So, ibig sabihin, after 6 months or after June, pwede ka mag-extend mag ulit ng another 4 months, 3 months, say ganun. Para, kwan? Hindi mo masabing 1 year. Let's say, 5 months. Para 11 months lang siya. Tapos, another extension of another uh, 11 months or 10 months. Ganun ba yun? How many times ka dapat pwedeng mag-extend? Uh, sir, actually, sir, since discourage na po yung extension, so sa dapat po talaga is na prepare na din po ng end user nung, during the first extension. So, pero hindi naman po bawal po na extend po siya ulit, basta wag lang po lalagpas ng one year yung extension. So, siguro, yung, din po kasi sir yung nangyayari sa ibang security services, na extend lang pero kailangan na po talaga magkaroon ng um, preparation nga po for the procurement sa regular bidding po. Y y pero yung prohibition po talaga no, no contract Dane. extension so per extension lang po talaga sir. Attorney Dane kaya nga tayo na kowe. Eh. Oh. Tapos, you're providing us the, ano, uh, this kind of uh, scenarios again. Dapat siyang pinag-aralan nyo technical working group. Kaya nga technical working group kayo, eh. Oh. Kaya nga yun ang tanong ko. How many times ka lang dapat mag-extend ng less than one year or maximum one year? 
any justification na bakit ka kailangan mag uh, mag uh, extend ng mag extend trabaho ng technical working group yan eh dapat yan ang tinrabaho ninyo inyo If not, if, if not yet ready to answer, di, let's say, ano to, forgo with this one. Yan natin next week na lang ulit siguro. Or until such time, makaisip na kayo ng magandang rason. Pero as of now, if you're not yet ready with, with, with those kind of reasoning, Uh, what now? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, with the an uh, with the security services before, sir, meron din naman po dun sa nakawa, sir. Um, nakas inalaw naman po nila basta may I forgot which area, sir. Pero in, basta po ma prove na nagkakaroon na po ng next procurement. But sir, we. May we request for deferment na lang, sir, para we can provide a more comprehensive justification po. Ah, oh, mas maganda siguro. Maybe uh, we will just meet anytime next week na siguro. Kung ano, to uh, provide us some, ano, extensive, ano yung ganito na kwan. Para we, we, we're sure of what we're doing. Okay, uh, any comment from members? Mo motion, Mr. Chair? Yeah, sige. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, pending uh, some information to be uh, to be uh, given by Technical Banker Group, uh, I move for the department of the item 4.2, that is the discussion on the extension of contract of ELSO. Until uh, until next meeting. Second the motion, Mr. Chair. Okay, it has been moved and seconded uh, for the deferment of this uh, 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 the extension of the contract of Elser for another six months, uh, pending uh, uh, providing the uh, back members some uh, provisions or information on how to go about the uh, the second extension of this. Uh, contract is hereby approved okay any other matters uh there are no other matters mr chair okay uh there being none any motion to uh, no, to adjourn motion to adjourn mr chair okay i second mr chair okay it has been moved and seconded for the adjournment of the uh of this back uh uh, adjourn. Approve. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, sure. Any time, ano, you, you, ano,